you thought your morning commute was tough, I've got 15 jaw-dropping roads that will put your commute to shame. Today we're counting down the 15 most challenging roads in the world. Let's begin with number 15, the North Youngest Road. The North Youngest Road, it's famously dubbed as the Death Road. It's a treacherous mountain road located in Bolivia. It stretches about 43 miles from La Paz to Coroico, which means it winds its way through the famous Andes Mountains. Now, one of the things that makes this road so challenging is the altitude. The road starts at an elevation of around 15,000 feet, and it descends to about 4,000 feet. But along with the altitude, North Youngest Road is notorious for its terrain. The road is really narrow in places, as narrow as 10 feet. Plus, the road's got plenty of sharp turns and switchbacks, and it follows some really steep cliffs, and since it lacks guardrails, there's nothing to keep drivers from falling off the road and barreling down those cliffs. North Youngest Road sees some pretty harsh weather conditions, too. It's no stranger to dense fog and heavy rain, as well as landslides. All these factors combine to make for one hell of a challenging drive, so much so that this road is often called one of the most dangerous roads in the world. There have been improvements to the road to make it less dangerous in recent years, but before those improvements, it's estimated that hundreds of people used to die on the road every year. The improvements really haven't made the road any less challenging, they've just made it a bit safer. So the North Youngest Road remains an incredibly adrenaline-producing and heart-pounding road, best suited for thrill-seekers. Number 14, the Atlantic Ocean Road. A nice, scenic road trip along the ocean is a very pleasant way to spend an afternoon for many. And at first glance, the Atlantic Ocean Road appears to offer an idyllic trip full of aquatic eye candy. It's often dubbed as one of the world's most scenic drives. The Atlantic Ocean Road also has another moniker. It is one of the deadliest roads on Earth. The road spans 5.2 miles and spills across Norway's rugged coastline. This winding road connects several islands and peninsulas with a series of viaducts, causeways, and bridges. But the road's exposed to harsh and unpredictable weather of the North Atlantic. Powerful winds, heavy rain, and fierce storms can lash out at the coastline, creating some pretty extreme driving conditions. Plus, wet and slippery roads are no one's favorite roads to drive on, and if all this doesn't sound harrowing enough, the Atlantic Ocean Road has narrow lanes and sharp curves, so you've got to remain focused. There aren't any dividers either, so head-on collisions are possible if drivers slip into the other lane. The road is really close to the ocean, and although this makes for some really cool views, it also makes the road vulnerable to tides. Flooding can happen in certain areas of the road, so drivers are cautioned to pay attention to tide schedules and be prepared for sudden changes in water levels. And finally, there's the whole isolation aspect of the road. The road travels through some coastal areas, but they're remote and offer very limited services and amenities, so a mechanical breakdown or other emergency can mean a very slow arrival time for help. Number 13, the Fairy Meadows Road. While the name of this next road might turn your mind to thoughts of fairies in a field of wildflowers, there's nothing fairy-esque about Fairy Meadows Road. This road is nestled in the rugged terrain of Pakistan, and this thing is notorious. In fact, the road is often hailed as the second deadliest road in the world. It's carved into the unforgiving slopes of Nangat Parbat Mountain. This treacherous path offers a harrowing journey for daring travelers. The road is short, stretching only 10 miles in length, but it winds its way through perilous landscapes. It was built by villagers centuries ago, but has remained untouched by modern renovation or repairs. The roads only open during the summer months, and it becomes even more treacherous when wet, so during the rainy season, the road becomes a veritable nightmare of mudslides just waiting to send vehicles careening off the cliff. The worst stretch of this challenging road spans about six miles and offers drivers an adrenaline-fueled experience like no other. Travelers journey from the Karakoram Highway to the village of Tato, and they're met with a narrow, unpaved, and unmaintained road. Instead of guardrails, there's a sheer drop of several thousand meters on one side. So one wrong turn of the wheel, and you'll go tumbling. But the road's most daunting challenges don't end there. With frighteningly steep sections and hairpin turns, navigating the road demands nerves of steel and unrelenting concentration. However, despite the peril, the promise of reaching Fairy Meadows continues to lure tourists. Fairy Meadows is a paradise nestled amidst the towering peaks, so for some, the challenges of traversing this road is worth the idyllic prize at the end. Number 12, Skipper's Canyon Road. 
New Zealand, it offers up some pretty extraordinary landscapes. But for those who want a side of treacherous, challenging road conditions with their picture-perfect landscapes, then Skipper's Canyon Road is right up your alley. The road is located in the rugged landscape of New Zealand's South Island. Now, this road is winding, narrow, and gravel-covered, making it challenging to even the most seasoned of drivers. It's carved right into the cliffs of Skipper's Canyon, so for anyone brave enough to tackle the road's twists and turns, it offers an unparalleled scenic experience. This road is roughly 14 miles long. The road is gravel the whole way, and for those not familiar with gravel roads, unlike smooth asphalt, navigating one requires a different approach. Your traction and control are different on gravel roads, and this is important because the road has a severe lack of passing spaces, as well as a 100-meter drop down to the river below. So, encountering another oncoming vehicle on Skipper's Canyon Road can be a nerve-wracking experience. According to sources, people have to get a special permit to take on road, although it's not clear what's involved in obtaining the permit. The speed limit is similar to other public roads, but you'd have to be crazy to actually go the speed limit. With that precipitous drop-off, narrow lanes, and sharp bends, drivers tend to inch along rather than cruise by. The road's also known for its dizzying height, which can be distracting, so the difficulty of navigating through the canyon isn't just about narrow, gravel roads with steep drop-offs. For those willing to risk it, though, the trip through Skipper's Canyon offers up some pretty spectacular opportunities to snap some pics. The rushing river below, the towering cliffs overhead, Skipper's Canyon Road is full of stunning eye candy. Number 11. Spaghetti Junction not all challenging roads are carved from cliffs. Some roads are challenging due to their crazy design. Welcome to the bewildering world of Spaghetti Junction. This challenging road is right in the heart of Birmingham in the UK, and its design has baffled drivers for decades with its mind-boggling complexity. It is technically an interchange, but this maze of roads, ramps, and bridges will challenge even the most experienced drivers. The junction spans a significant area and connects several major motorways, including the M6, M5, and A38. It's got multiple levels and a plethora of signposts, so drivers are easily overwhelmed and confused by the sheer size of this thing. Now, needless to say, navigating through this mess requires quick thinking and lightning-fast reflexes. Exits appear suddenly, with limited visibility forcing drivers to negotiate multiple merges in the blink of an eye. It's no wonder drivers often express feelings of frustration and disorientation while attempting to navigate Spaghetti Junction. Last-minute lane changes and missed exits are all too common, adding to the chaos of this infamous road system. In fact, Spaghetti Junction has earned its reputation as one of the most confusing road systems in the United Kingdom. Wrong turns, unexpected detours, and lost drivers are par for the course in this tangled web of asphalt. There have been efforts to improve signage and provide clear navigation aids within the junction, but even with advancements in GPS technology, conquering Spaghetti Junction remains a challenge. Number 10. Trollstegen Pictures of the zany Trollstegen show what a marvel of engineering this crazy road really is. The road's located in Norway, and a trip down the Trollstegen will give drivers a pretty memorable peek into the natural beauty of the Scandinavian landscape. However, this iconic road isn't for the faint of heart or for anyone prone to motion sickness, since the road is speckled with a dramatic series of hairpin turns. The corners are ridiculously tight in places and can be really challenging to navigate. But the views make the twisty turning travels well worth it, if you can stomach the ride and if you're not afraid of vertigo-inducing drop-offs. The road's got its fair share of cliffs, too, that drop hundreds of feet down to the valley below. So why risk the Trollstegen Road? Well, for some, it's a matter of waterfalls. One of the highlights of this road is the opportunity to witness several stunning waterfalls that cascade their way down the mountainside. The most famous of these is the Stigfossen Waterfall. It plunges an impressive 1,049 feet. Are you not a fan of looking at waterfalls from the passenger side window? No worries, this waterfall can be seen from a specially constructed viewing platform. The waterfalls are really a tourist attraction, so the road is actually quite popular despite the inherent dangers. This is problematic because the road is really narrow. There's not a lot of room for passing here, especially when a tour bus is barreling your way. As is a familiarity with the Norwegian mountains and their unpredictable weather, rain, fog, and snow is common at these higher elevations, so the road can get really slippery sometimes, which is why this road sees its fair share of accidents. In the summer months, the challenges with this road come mostly from tourists and the congestion they cause. The road was designed to provide access to remote villages, so they're not really set up for copious amounts of traffic. So there can be a pretty big backlog of vehicles along the road, especially in the areas that have those viewing platforms. 
Number 9. The Le Manali Highway The Le Manali Highway is legendary for a number of reasons. First off, it offers up some extraordinary scenery, but it also offers up some really challenging terrain. So it's one part pretty and one part treacherous. Le Manali Highway is nestled in the Indian Himalayas, an area that has its own set of bragging rights. Stretching approximately 297 miles, this highway connects the town of Leh in the Ladakh region and Manali in the state of Himachal Pradesh. But what really sets this highway apart is the unique blend of breathtaking landscapes and formidable challenges. The road is built over a really high mountain pass and it runs through remote valleys. As such, this highway is famous for giving riders a glimpse into some of the most rugged and pristine terrain in the world. The road crosses several high mountain passes, including the formidable Tanglangla Pass, which stands at an elevation of over 17,400 feet above sea level. These high altitudes force drivers to cope with the thin air, and the reduced oxygen levels can be really hard on some people. But that's not the only challenging thing about this road. In addition to the high altitude, this highway is also prone to extreme weather. Heavy snowfall, freezing temperatures during the winter months can render the road impassable. But that's just the winter. Surely the summer is fine, right? Well, wrong. The summer monsoons bring the risk of landslides and flash floods, and the weather's really unpredictable. So it is driver beware no matter what time of year it is. A road of this magnitude wasn't built overnight either. The road was built in stages over several decades, so it was a long time in the making. But the Le Manali Highway has been a lifeline for the remote communities of Ladakh and Himachal Pradesh. Challenging? Yeah, but it's essential. Number 8. The Karakoram Highway The Karakoram Highway is sometimes referred to as the eighth wonder of the world because this monumental feat of engineering traverses some of the most breathtaking landscapes in the world. And treacherous is another key adjective here. The highway is very, very treacherous. It stretches over 800 miles from Hassan Abdal in Pakistan to Kashgar in China, and it's actually a vital link that connects these two countries. But to do so, it has to go through the formidable Karakoram mountain range. The highway was constructed over the span of two decades. The construction began in 1960, and it wasn't complete until about 1979. Originally, the highway was built as a strategic military route, but it's since become a vital artery for trade and travel between Pakistan and China. One of the most striking and challenging aspects of this highway is its extreme elevation. At over 16,000 feet above sea level, it's one of the highest paved roads in the world. This altitude presents numerous challenges for drivers. Reduced oxygen, harsh weather, and unpredictable terrain are rampant throughout this thing. The winter months are the worst, though, as during those months the Karakoram Highway becomes particularly perilous. Heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures blanket the region, including the road. Toss in some avalanches and landslides, and you can see how challenging this road becomes. Beyond the icy and snowy conditions, this highway is also known for its dizzying cliffs, hairpin turns, and sheer drops into deep gorges. Sounds fun, right? And to make matters worse, guardrails aren't exactly numerous along certain stretches of the road. Oh, and did I mention that the road is really remote? There are long stretches of road without gas stations, lodging, or medical facilities, so drivers can often be left stranded for a bit before help arrives. Despite the challenges, though, the Karakoram Highway offers up snapshots of the unparalleled vistas of towering peaks, rugged valleys, and crystal clear rivers. Moving on to number 7, Tiananmen Mountain Road. So if you've got a penchant for hairpin turns, then make your way over to China, buckle up, and take on the Tiananmen Mountain Road. Why? Well, because this bad boy features an astonishing 99 hairpin turns. Tiananmen Mountain Road is located in Zhangjiajie, China. It's renowned for its breathtaking views and thrilling twists and turns. However, it's also known for its formidable challenges. Those 99 hairpin turns require precise maneuvering and nerves of steel to navigate safely. And while the first few might be fun, by the time the drivers reach 40 or 50 of them, they tend to hit some pretty serious hairpin fatigue. Over the course of its 6.8-mile stretch, Tiananmen Mountain Road ascends to dizzying heights, with an elevation gain of approximately 4,200 feet. As drivers ascend the mountain, they'll notice that the road hugs the edge of the mountain, and they're required to hug the edge of the road thanks to the sheer cliffs and perilous drop-offs. However, there are some large tour buses that like to traverse this road, or other large vehicles, so those narrow roads do come into play. And of course, because it's a high mountain road, the weather conditions can be unpredictable. Fog, rain, and even snow can wreak havoc on those road conditions and really increase the risk of accidents. Despite all these challenges, though, the Tiananmen Mountain Road remains pretty popular as a tourist destination. Surprisingly enough, tourist traffic can make the road even more challenging. 
and traffic is known to exacerbate congestion on this highway, adding to an already challenging driving experience. Number six, the magic roundabout. Roundabouts are challenging at the best of times, but this next road ups the ante when it comes to confusing, complex, challenging roundabouts. Behold the bewitching world of the magic roundabout in Swindon, England. Navigating this maze of mini roundabouts feels more like a spellbinding feat than a nice casual drive. This unconventional road layout has baffled drivers for years, earning its place as one of the most perplexing puzzles of pavement in the world. Picture this, five mini roundabouts encircling a central hub, creating a visual spectacle that's as confusing as it is captivating. The road was designed to be innovative, but the magic roundabout often leaves drivers scratching their heads in confusion rather than marveling at its ingenuity. The challenge begins as soon as you approach the roundabout, because there are five entry points that converge at the central hub, sort of like spokes on a wheel. Drivers have to summon their inner sorcerer to choose the correct exit, all while trying to avoid a fender bender or a collision. But the bewilderment doesn't end there. The magic roundabout also has a dedicated pedestrian crossing and footpath, so people on foot add an extra layer of complexity. Despite its baffling design, though, or perhaps because of it, the magic roundabout has become a beloved landmark in Swindon, capturing the imagination of locals and visitors. Its magical allure has even earned it a starring role in several movies and TV shows over the years. For many people, though, standing alongside it and snapping pics is the safest way to see this landmark in person. Successfully navigating through this roundabout requires a combination of skill, intuition, and perhaps a touch of magic. Number 5. The Kolyma Highway, Russia so it should come as no surprise that Russia's got some pretty challenging roads, but unlike some of the more arduous mountain passes, the challenge of Russia's roads is often in the isolation. So welcome to the Road of Bones, or the Kolyma Highway as it's technically called. This infamous highway traverses some of the most remote and most unforgiving terrain on the entire planet. From the frigid tundra of Siberia to the icy depths of Russia's Far East, this highway weaves its way across a stretch of land that most people wouldn't even dream of touching. The road is over 1,200 miles long, and although its name might make you think that a lot of people perish on it, the name actually comes from a different but equally as chilling story. The road was built by prisoners in the late 1930s as part of Stalin's Gulag system. But the legend has it, due to harsh weather and cruel working conditions, a ton of men died while constructing it. And I mean a ton, so many in fact that their bones were used as part of the roadbed. So some people believe that when you're driving down the road of bones, you are literally driving on bones. Now, apart from the highway's bone-chilling legend, there are a lot of other challenges that can't be overlooked when it comes to this. The road isn't exactly well-maintained, so it's riddled with potholes. And because of the location, the temperatures can drop to extremely low levels. Plus, it's not uncommon to see a plethora of wildlife since the highway is so remote. Bears and moose are the most common, and they can cause a significant amount of accidents on the road. And then there's the Siberian blizzards. Anyone who's ever driven through a whiteout knows how challenging it is to stay on the road when you can't even see it. And of course, there's the isolation. Should you be unlucky enough to hit a massive pothole or a moose or a blizzard, well, it could be a long time before help arrives. Number 4. The Napu Bridge Interchange If pictures of this next challenging road are making you a little dizzy, you're not alone. This is the infamous Napu Bridge Interchange. And while it's not technically a road, it is a crucial transportation hub that connects several major roads in the city of Palu, central Sulawesi, Indonesia. This interchange is built at the intersection of several key thoroughfares, and it serves as a convergence point for traffic from the Trans-Sulawesi Highway, the Palu Koro Highway, and the Palu North Ring Road, all of which are busy roads in their own right. But since these roads are so busy, vehicles are constantly coming and going at all directions throughout the day. However, one look at this mess of concrete and you can see why people complain about it. The interchange is prone to accidents and traffic mishaps, especially during those peak hours when traffic is at its heaviest. The convergence of this traffic is pretty confusing because the interchange has a complex layout. There are multiple lanes, ramps, and merging points, and it can be hard for drivers to know where they're supposed to go. This already confusing stack of roads gets even more confusing when inclement weather then sweeps in. Heavy rain can obscure your vision and flooding can make it even harder to drive. So there's a reason this interchange has earned a bad reputation as far as confusing roads go. 
And it should be mentioned though, that even though this is one of, if not the most challenging interchange in the world, it does serve a really important role in the overall flow of traffic for Palu and surrounding areas. Number three, the Sichuan Tibet Highway. Why travel through one mountain when you can tackle 14? The Sichuan Tibet Highway is massive. It stretches for 1,300 miles, all the way from Chengdu to Lhasa. Originally, it was known as the Kangding Tibet Highway. This route winds through peaks, vast plateaus, and charming Tibetan villages. And all in, it traverses an impressive 14 towering mountains. The mountains range in average from 4,000 to 5,000 meters in height, and the highway crosses numerous rivers, including the Dadu River, the Jincha River, and the Nujiang. All along the way, travelers are privy to primeval forests, untouched and pristine. But to get there, drivers have to navigate through challenging sections of the road, the most famous of which is a section that includes 99 switchbacks along a 38-kilometer stretch. Lower oxygen levels are a real challenge during certain sections of the road, as well as some treacherous conditions. This highway isn't really a road you want to take during the winter, not unless you enjoy a road plagued with rock avalanches, landslides, and harsh weather. And even if you do, you'll be out of luck, since the highway is impassable for up to 10 months a year. Even when the road is open, sections of it are unpaved, and they become a muddy mess during the rainy season. So how long does the trip take? Well, if you're not rushing it, it will take around 15 days to travel the length of the whole highway. But drivers are warned to be prepared for lengthy delays and potential setbacks due to, of course, weather and traffic. Number two, the Dalton Highway, United States. Alaska, a bucket list vacation for many with its breathtaking glaciers, tundras, and untouched scenic glory people board cruise ships to take in all the wonders that are Alaska, or they hop on planes. But there is, of course, another way to enjoy the splendors of Alaska. By car. However, as you can well imagine, it comes with driving across Alaska. Some roads are far more challenging than others here, like the Dalton Highway, for example. This beast of a road is known for its extreme weather and its isolation. So yeah, it's a highway that demands respect. The Dalton Highway is also known as Alaska Route No. 11. It's long, stretching for over 414 miles, and it runs from Fairbanks to Dead Horse. And over the course of the highway, it traverses through some of the most remote and rugged terrains in the world. This highway was constructed in the 1970s, and it was built as a supply route for the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System, or TAPS for short. But to achieve this goal, the Dalton Highway had to run through some pretty unforgiving landscapes. In fact, close to 900 construction workers lost their lives during the building process. Workers faced really perilous conditions like frigid temps, the risk of blasts, and the danger of falling into gorges. To date, the Dalton Highway construction was one of the most hazardous construction projects in Alaska's history. However, it does remain a lifeline for the oil fields of the North Slope, and it also sees a fair amount of intrepid travelers looking to explore Alaska's wilderness. But the highway experiences extreme winter weather, with temperatures often plunging well below freezing and heavy snowfall blanketing the road. It goes through vast expanses of permafrost. Now, this permafrost can cause the road surface to become unstable and prone to damage. Those freeze-thaw cycles during the winter months create uneven surfaces and, of course, potholes, all of which present some pretty challenging driving conditions. Services along the Dalton Highway are pretty sparse, and there aren't a lot of amenities available for travelers. Gas stations, lodging, and other facilities are few and far between, especially in the remote northern sections of the road. These highways venture into some of the most remote and desolate landscapes in North America. Travelers are warned to be self-sufficient and be prepared for emergencies, including the possibility of getting stranded in harsh conditions. The highway is also home to a variety of wildlife, including moose, caribou, wolves, and bears. But sometimes these animals wander onto the road and collisions with them pose a significant risk. However, the Dalton Highway offers a rare glimpse into some of the world's rawest natural beauty and untamed wilderness. So for those who like the thrill of a challenging highway, the trip is well worth it. For the rest of us, like me, these pictures will suffice. Number 1. The Guoliang Road What could be more challenging than a road that does not tolerate any mistakes? That could be an alternate name of the Guoliang Road, so anyone who's brave enough to take on this thing better be prepared for a white-knuckle drive. Guoliang Road, or Guoliang Tunnel as it's sometimes called, is a mountain road located in the Taihang Mountains of China's Henan Province. The road is extremely challenging because it's not your average road. 
while other roads are built by professional engineers and experienced construction crews who spend time and energy finding the safest route through a mountain, this road was built by local villagers. These villagers were from the village of Guoliang, and it was a frustration that led them to build it. Their village was pretty much cut off from everything. The only access to it was via a really narrow mountain pass or by climbing the steep cliffs. Fed up with being so isolated, a group of men got together and decided to carve their own road into the mountain. The team was led by Sheng Minjing, and this was back in the 1970s. So how did they build this road? Well, they used what they had on hand, chisels, shovels, and hammers. They literally chipped away at the mountain until they had a road. All in, it took them five years to complete it. And as you can imagine, the road isn't exactly a nice, comfortable highway pass. Instead, it's a narrow road that virtually clings to the side of the mountain. And of course, there are no guardrails here. This road was built by villagers, so things like safety went a little unchecked. The road also sees a lot of fog, which makes it all the more challenging. It is pretty easy to see from pictures just how challenging it is. It's not a long road, but traversing it would be a memorable and hair-raising experience. If you're successful. Well, in any case, this hand-carved road with its narrow passage, steep drop-offs, and precarious design has chiseled its way to the top of this list of the 15 most challenging roads in the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.